you appreciate you sparing uh, such valuable time at this moment. How did you first get introduced to Martech and when, when was that? So uh, we started working with Martech, uh, I think it was May, uh, coming up 10 years ago. I think it was probably a good self, Craig, who uh, contacted me and kind of started talking about the things that you were working on with, with other dealer groups, um, which um, were, were of real interest to us. One of the first things that we did together as a business was we looked at telephone calls, didn't we, for sales. What was it about that program that interested you most? I think really, you know, we'd seen uh, a big shift at the time from, from walking customers to, to lots of customers uh, contacting us via telephone. And to be honest, we didn't really have a strategy around how we would handle a phone call uh, effectively. It wasn't really something that was on our radar at the time. And, you know, the fact that you, you were able to come in and sort of give us uh, results that you managed to achieve with other dealer groups where um, I think I'm right in saying we're sort of seeing threefold in regards to appointment ratios. So we were we were really interested in, in, in exploring that further. You, your philosophy, as you said, you didn't really have a strategy on handling calls. So, you know, how did you how did you see that improve over the first sort of year or couple of years in, mm -hmm. in implementing the critiquing and, and the software? When we when we first put the system in and, and were able to understand where we were, um, our group appointment ratio was about 19%. We got to a point uh, sort of fairly quickly where our appointment ratio had got to around 60% with, with some dealers being ahead of that, um, even up into sort of 70%. Uh, so yeah, really, really positive uh, for us and obviously a knock-on effect on our, on our overall conversion rates. Brilliant stuff. And I imagine you also had some training linked within that, didn't you? I think at the very inset, we, you had a mission to train the managers because the managers are the guys that are obviously driving the performance of the sales department. And of course, if they understood the skills and behaviours of how best to deliver a message and handle an inquiry on the phone, then it would make sense that they can sort of carry that through. So how did that how did that work for you guys? Yeah, that's exactly what we did. So there's a few things. Obviously, we went from sort of having this unstructured approach to, to calls through to then having a, a you know a scripted approach, which sometimes could sound a little bit wooden through to then being really comfortable to utilise elements of the script, but you know, be able to um, come off that script and then back on at the right time. Around that period in the first couple of years, you also introduced uh, some support from us, didn't you, with uh, contact centres. How did that come across for you guys? Yeah, that was really good. Um, so that was the showroom scout programme whereby um, you, you did some analysis for us, contacting customers, uh, you know, understanding about their, their experience um, that they'd had with us. And that was really, uh, yeah, really valuable data that helped us um, shape some of the things that we were doing within our um, sales process, sales experience to, to make things better for the customers.